everyone, welcome in the second part of useful 3D prints. If you didn't saw the last part, you can check it out right here. Today's episode of useful 3D prints will be about kitchen. Last time we talked about 3D prints for bathroom, today I have 5 3D prints for kitchen. You can download all of those models on my Thingiverse, link is in the description. Before we begin, I want to show you a filament that I use for this episode. So that's the PET filament. Why this filament and not the PLA as usual? Basically this filament is food safe, so you can use it for food. That's the same material that plastic bottles are made of. It is also a little bit more flexible than PLA and requires higher printing temperature. Alright, so now you know everything, let's take a look at my prints. The first thing is salt cellar. You can open it and put some salt inside. And that's how this thing works, you just simply can salt something. It's very simple but very effective, it also looks very nice. The second thing is wine stopper. I found this thing in IKEA and thought why not to 3D print this. Here I have juice, that's not the wine but it does the same job so you can just put it in the bottle like that and it should hopefully work. That's the funnel made out of PETG or PET filament. It's very easy to print in this orientation. And that's how it works. Of course it is completely water resistant so there are no any leaks on the sides. Those are simple clips. The orange ones are made with PLA and this one is made with PETG because it is more flexible so it should work better. You can use it to clip some flakes or even a paper. Another thing printed with PETG filament is a strainer. And it is perfect if you want to separate, for example, your pasta from water. Remember to not use it with hot water because it will melt. Perfect. And the last thing, a pizza cutter. That simple two part model. The blade is printed with PETG and this part is printed with PLA. As you can see there is small space between those two so you can easily mount it. I don't have pizza to show you how this thing works but it works very well. Remember to not use it with very hot pizza, because this thing can easily melt. That's all for this episode of useful 3D prints, I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel, also if you like this video share it with friends to help me grow this channel. Thank you very much for watching, remember to check out the links to the models in the description down below. Happy making everyone, bye!